Oh boy. One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Welcome back. All right. We haven't recorded in a million years. <laughs> it's been so long. I can't remember. I got it. Do you know? After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? Did we not? Fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. We did. Okay, just okay. checking. <laughs> Looks like an etch a sketch. Because of course we saw the same thing when we dismantled the Monokuma. Nostagami's staring right at her ass. He knows what's good. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more. It's like Togami is generally a pretty calm. You know, injury so that we'd suspect mm -hmm. Ra rather down to earth fellow, but sometimes it's just like, yeah, I know. The only other <laughs> <suspect>. <laughs> you, Kyoko. Hold on a second, Byakuya. What's the problem? Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. I won't change the facts <laughs> of the case regardless. Hmm, what's keeping you quiet? Is it guilt? No. <laughs> well, oh, okay, just I checking. Think... <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Stop being so off center! I have. <laughs> Why don't you just have a normal forward facing <laughs> sprite, Chihiro? Like the rest of us. Didn't kill her for sure, I guess. I wish it did. Mm, I love explosions. Definitely, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Yep, nope, nope, no more maybes. This took me a while too. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Because it's like, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, yeah. the syntax. The syntax is weird. Uh, because you have to disprove what they're saying, but sometimes like the statements just don't work that way. Where it's like what I'm saying isn't exactly like the opposite of what they're saying. Uh, okay. Or like. Or like, um, <sighs> or sometimes I like to prove something by like trying to accidentally agree with it, or like, uh, like sometimes I forget Whoopsie. I'm trying to. It's easy to forget you're trying to disprove things, it's not prove them. Yeah. So if somebody brings up like a potential cause, you're like, oh, I gotta go after that, but you're like, no, I gotta disprove something else. And then it's like, well, which one do I disprove? Oh. You uh, you just barely managed to copy that one before it disappeared. That's what we call uh, elite skills. <laughs> it wasn't the right thing to do, but the fact that I did it was impressive. It was, as they say in Nippon, most Subarashi. <laughs> recently joined our... Recently joined our mall ninja shit. Man, people really hate. Man, man, people really hate mall ninjas. The fuck is a mall ninja? Oh my god, do I have to look this up for you? <laughs> it's okay. We'll be here a while. <laughs> just, just, just waiting for past Zeke to get it right. Yep. It's okay. I've, I've grown. I've become a much better person since last night. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. I guess. Well, yeah. She was I thought she's just so sure about it, and then it's like, eh. Could be. A mall ninja is a term used in forums to mean an unexperienced or overly enthusiastic weapon or firearm owner who pretends to be a seasoned operator. Oh, this okay, this, okay. This phrase comes about as a result of over-the-top characters and famous satirical thread. It also refers to weeboos who hang out in malls with their, nin with their like, imported ninja stuff. Naruto headbands. 
Yeah. yeah. Just walking. The 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 and they the run by with friggin' Tyco drums going in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kinds of guys who go to the malls with their weird layouts so they can practice parkour badly. <laughs> <laughs> badly. <laughs> Yeah. Unless they're good at it, in which case they've graduated from Mall Ninja Academy and become professional Mall Ninjas. Or as we like to call them in the business, Chunin. <laughs> or whatever the hell was above Chunin, I forget now. That's... No. I mean... Oh my god, get a room, you two! <laughs> the fuck? What is this? What the fuck did I just see? Can I ship them? Is that okay? <laughs> I kind of want to. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon. Uh the real just, murder weapon. She's just staying quiet because it's like I'm not going to say anything. I got it. Lucaro was hit in the back of the head with something. And that's what killed him. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. Ha! Titanium! That's what the culprit attacked Mukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? <laughs> that sounds kind of weird. You're kind of weird. Hey, no, she's not. You, you shut up. No, she's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm not back talking anything. I'm just saying what I think. <laughs> You're about one scene off from the actual weird person. <laughs> Let's prove it was an arrow. Honestly, Aoi's probably the most normal character here aside from Makoto. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else is just ever so slightly off. It was in the dojo locker, right? I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Are you sure? Man, fuck your whites and all the noise they're producing. What's the problem? Your eyes blue or like slate gray. Uh, either or. It's good either way. You have no right. The titanium it was in the dojo. I have no doubt. Are you sure? You don't sound like well, it said the weapon must it seems like an arrow. I'll show you what's too thin. <laughs> I mean Wait. Um <laughs> Just the one arrow would have been too weak. That's why the killer used another weapon. Bound them together. Inside the dojo locker, we also found a balled up wad of duct tape. The killer probably uses duct tape to bind multiple arrows together, bundling them to form Aerotron. <laughs> With our powers combined, we too can cave in your skull. <laughs> Oh hey, more scholarly shit. Good for you. Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. Yes. I've never been to the dojo. Bullshit! Bullshit! Yeah! <laughs> we were there. That we had a romantic such huge bullshit. Wow. We had a seemingly romantic moment under a cherry tree. <sighs> you know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to uh. the death of us all. Remember? Uh, of course I remember. Oh really? Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. Oh. Here we go. How about a wood block? I got it. The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here. Boom. The key to the dojo locker. And how does that prove anything? Because 
I found it in your room. It was. Incredible. You didn't sniff my sheets, did you? Uh, no. <laughs> that key is just the final piece of the puzzle. Your non-existent uh, alibi, your clear motive, your attempts to frame Makoto for the crime. This all proves that you are the true culprit. <sighs> you can't explain this away, so just give up. Hold on a second. Oh my god, your sex drive can wait. There are other women. No, it's not that I wanted to defend her. It's two and one of them's fucking crazy, so I meant on the outside. Gioko, I want you to tell me something. Still stuck in the dead people corner. Last night. Look, by this point in the game everybody's in a dead person corner. Okay, but let's be fair there. He's surrounded by Yufumi and Sayaka. She's surrounded by Sakura and Mondo. Wow, she had like a lot of muscle. <laughs> Man, what a sausage fest. She was protecting me? Does that mean she... self def Oh, oh mm. <laughs> I'm gonna grab your nuts! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> she came uh, to my rescue? Go back to sleep. <laughs> Could that be when... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna grab you nuts. <laughs> she killed someone for me? Yeah, she still killed someone, so she has to get punished. chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Wait. Okay. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. That's exactly what a killer would say. Stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Can you tell me I'm wrong? Hmm? I should know. What? Huh? Byakuya should know more than anyone? He is rather quick to pin the blame on her, isn't he? No, they're just saying that he should know that that was impossible. Huh. Let's see. Those words you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. <laughs> She's not killed. <laughs> you should understand that more than anyone here. You can't catch me, gay thoughts. Proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. <sighs> You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the Dojo Locker, and then left the room, correct? But, could I really have done that? Yes? Those words you just spoke, what do you mean? What does she mean? Exactly. Oh, what's his account? No corpse in the garden just after night time. None of them were alone at any point. I'm not the Oh, uh, that one. Uh, wait. You should Matt, understand no, wait. that more than anyone wait. here. Ryakuya. Nope, I'm still getting it wrong. <laughs> Shit. Master, would you never hide something? There's proof that you is that what you're saying? You stated a you said I hid and then left the locker key in my butt. Ah oh, fuck. Could I really have done that? I think I'm supposed to memorize that. Or am I? I don't know. I knew Come this. On. You what? can do it. I knew that. I knew this once it, upon a time, exactly. in the distant I'm land of yesterday. Master, would you? There's proof that you is that, but you're. You stated that you said I hid and then left the locker key in my. Nope. Wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> Why are you just proving me? God damn Dumb it! That isn't right. <laughs> I meant to memorize it. Exactly. I'm not, but you should understand. It's the same button, it's just hold versus click. You stated that you said I hid and then left the locker key in my own room. Could I... Could I really have done that? Why'd you hesitate there? Is it because the game stuttered or are you really nervous? <laughs> I'm... just waiting. <laughs> no, I was talking to her! Oh. Ding dong! <laughs> Kyoko wouldn't have been able to get into her room. Because he locked her out. Why not? Because she had given her room key to Byakuya. I see. So that's what you meant. And if I had the key to your room... Kikita Giddy. Then obviously I had no way of getting in. Without my room key, I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Am I wrong? Oh. It would appear not. 
Then you're finally starting to understand. Too naive. So it was planted there? No, that's actually not true. Hmm. There was a clear contradiction in what Kyoko just told us. An obvious lie. Don't you go fucking ace attorney on us already. <laughs> but she doesn't like her. To try and save herself with such a desperate lie? Does she really feel that threatened? Well, I mean, she could die. <laughs> because she's the killer? Or is it something else? Was there some deeper meaning hidden in what she said earlier? She sells herself <laughs> by the seashore. Flashback. If you vote for me, I'll hand me three scrolls and that's my cat. Also, furthermore, is a trap of mats of mine that I've Objection! Frost. Totally. That's what they did. The mastermind is trying to trap Kyoko? But. It's possible. What if it's not really true? What can I do? What should I do? What should I... Upside down. <laughs> the mastermind's trap? The victim was Mukuro, and Kyoko killed her. I thought the mess. Nope. Does, what does Kyoko really know? Don't what am I supposed to do? Okay. <sighs> Kyoko, Kyoko's lie. I'm the only one who knows it's a lie. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one who can expose it. Zip. <laughs> but, but who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? The mastermind's trap. Hmm. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Oh. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? What do I do? And this is where we get a choice. This is where the game tries to trick you, but the correct answer is... There was a lie hidden within Kyoko's have to do it anyway. Kyoko. You there, man? Yeah, I'm there. All right. You said it. The burden of proof is on you. So let's hear it. Where's this lie, then? And it must be because there's some other deeper truth she wants to keep hidden. Oh. Damn, which account is it? <laughs> I didn't have the key to my room. A banker's it to conundrum. The <laughs> There's no doubt about that, right? You are correct. Ooh. So I couldn't my heart's racing. Have into my room. Then when we search I need to pee. No, no, I'm kidding. I don't. <laughs> okay. That's good. I really wouldn't want you to miss this. That's the only explanation. This is this is like the big turning point of the case, I think. Didn't have because I'd given it to the. There's no doubt you are correct, so I couldn't possibly have gotten in. So they want to go, yo! <laughs> no, Kyoko could have gotten into her room. You said so yourself, didn't you, Kyoko? Actually, to be precise, not quite. I used Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any Ooh. lock in the school. What? That's... Monokuma's secret tool? Oof. Kyoko stole it from the headmaster's room. It lets you get into any room in the school, which means she could have used it to get into her own room. <sighs> then I guess that's it. You're giving up just like that? You admit to killing... No. I'm simply recognizing that I lost. What are you talking about? Hmm. Like I said, this was a trap. And I wasn't able to escape it. So I lost. That's all this means. Huh? Then... Are you saying... You really didn't... Kyoko, you really... Aren't the killer? Huh. 
Okay, time's uh, up. Okay, Mona Kuma. I'm sorry to say, but your time is up. These okay. these haven't been timed up until now. The fuck? When is there any? It's because you were late. So no <laughs> That's not how this is supposed to work, motherfucker. So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Oh boy. Everyone, please vote oh, the this is not good. But I guess we already know who the blackened is, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, who is found guilty? Monocoins! <laughs> They're all mine! Nice! <laughs> Good job! You got it right! Uh. Brilliantly right! We got it right? But does that mean Kyoko really is the killer? But oh. Something strange is going on yeah, here. Something doesn't add up. A there's lot something of wrong with up. this whole class trial. There's been a, some, there's been something wrong with all of these fucking class trials so far. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. Is everyone ready? Okay then. Let's give it everything we've got. Oh boy. It's punishment time. He, he's just barreling through this. He's never done this before. Game over. Kyoko has been found guilty. guilty. Time for the punishment. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is that a hydraulic press? No, that's just a giant block. That's... I mean, brutal. very similar, but that wasn't what actually what I was referring to when I mentioned the hydraulic Ooh, press. Oh, that's... Oh. Actually, this thing's going quite a lot faster than the hydraulic press. Yeah, um... Bye, Kyoko. After school lesson. Damn, girl, those are some nice shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that shit Gucci? <laughs> I love this part, watch this. It's a fucking sex ed lesson. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Oh, God, the tension here. Lord! Well, I'm turning blue. Well, okay then. This is not gonna go well. Okay. Oh, the sound. Ugh. Ooh, I need a breath. I get some narration to do. And that's how the class trial of Mukuro Ikusaba came to an end. And we don't know anything about why Kyoko did it. I still had to wonder whether Kyoko was actually innocent or... That too. Just let me narrate this. Regardless, the truth was lost forever. <sighs> Even for me. I just stopped thinking about it. That was the end of Mukuro's class trial. <coughs> and in the end, it would prove to be our last class trial. Mm -hmm. Once that case was over, there was never a single murder at Hope's Peak ever again. Or was there? No, I'm kidding. We had obtained peace in exchange for the lives of all the others. Hey, Mikado! Looks like the mother of my children <laughs> and the mother of your children is the same woman! <laughs> oh, my, oh my, did everyone just... Did everyone just bang Owie? The fuck? 30% accuracy. <laughs> Looks like we got the same baby mama. What in the world? Hope. 
Hope? This is hope. How about no? And Toko's fucking dead for some reason. <laughs> whoa, whoa, shit! That was that was a close one. Ah, damn. Oh, he he was he was imagining all of that. That's. But, huh? What? Yeah, that was the bad ending. What? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, you motherfucker! <laughs> you did that! You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you... You... You stuck me on a fucking 15-minute ruse cruise! What in the hell? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I have to believe in Kyoko this time. What? <laughs> I didn't do that. The developers did that. That was marvelous. Wow. Does no one have a rebuttal? <laughs> that was masterful. <laughs> I'm amazed. <laughs> that baby mama brick joke is the greatest. <laughs> Fucking shit! I've been waiting so long for this! You've been waiting for this exact moment all game, haven't you? Oh my god, I love Dang and Road Bye! Anyway, he's accusing us of bringing the key to the room and pretending to find it. Okay. Good lord. Oh boy. Let's think about it one more time. There's got to be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? <clears throat> First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? Yeah. Look at the fucking walls. <laughs> seems <laughs> seems pretty normal to me. This is some JoJo fucking colors right here, man. Suddenly shows up dead, and then we're thrown into a trial. And Kyoko even said. To trap the mastermind mm. Hmm. So that's why this has to be okay. Time's oh, up. you son of a bitch. Class trials all over. Everyone can stop talking Ugh. now. What? Time's oh, that's not a fun look. Up. There's no time's up. Since when have we it's because you were late, so we had to push back the start time. Is this like a second yeah, ruse cruise? Okay, everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. What did you think the correct answer was running away? Of course, it's not a lose. <laughs> a, 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 B, A, C, C, B, C, B, B, B. Didn't do so well. Hmm. Relatively. If I had Asian parents, they would whip me. <laughs> That's awful. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have known that the previous choice was the wrong one because there wasn't a results screen. <laughs> yeah. Huh, I wonder who's guilty. Who does the evidence point to? Well. Oh. oh yeesh. Tough luck, kid. Well, let's see how this goes. What? You think I'm the killer? Sorry, man. Yeah, sorry. It's all your fault. Where'd all that trust go, huh? What? What? Everyone, you're wrong. So do I, Chigayo! You've got it all wrong, I didn't do it. Good job, everyone! Good job? Yeah. yeah, they got it right! The fuck? No, I know that's not true! I None mean... of this makes any sense! This whole trial doesn't make any sense! Huh. It makes perfect sense! 
Say, ah! <laughs> it's the same as always. And just like all the other class trials, I'm going to end it the same way. Ooh. It's time for your heart-pounding, positively thrilling punishment. Oh, boy. What's going to happen? Wait. Why do I... Oh. I expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got. Oh, it's dear. Time. Makoto has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Indeedums. He's put into the same trap. What do you think, Damien? <laughs> true, true. Can't waste all that time rendering all new shit. It's like, what, do you think they're gonna put effort into a joke ending? <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, they did actually put quite a bit of effort into that joke ending. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, hopefully this ends differently than the Kyoko fakeout ending. Looks like we lost Kevin somewhere in the fall, but look who I found on, in the trash. Hey, hey, fuckers! It's your old pal QB the third. <laughs> Whoa! How it, the, did that happen? The, the fucking edi the fucking editor and delayer of this fucking series uh, right here. Yeah, he's he's. <laughs> spo yeah, spoiler alert! Our editor has been hiding in the trash chute this whole time. Y yeah. Whoops. <laughs> so uh, basically. Uh, uh, do you want to explain the story? Yeah, yeah, I'll explain the story. Just... All right, turn that off. All right, so basically what happened is um, while Kevin and I were initially recording uh, this episode 44, I believe, um, uh, I actually ran out of hard drive space on my computer as we were recording audio, and so my audio cuts out um, at the moment where I stopped talking before. And so we have mm -hmm. to record something as uh, filler content for the rest of this episode now. Um, I mean, I guess if we really wanted to, we could have just done it again and pretended we didn't. We didn't know, like, oh my god, her dad's dead. What the fuck? Like, you know. Yeah, but you probably didn't have that much time to like really redo it. And plus, you're already dead set on uh, SDR two, which you're which that, which that's currently in production right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I realized it like that night, but we were, we had just gone through like a bunch of stuff, and we just didn't want to do it again. So I'm like, eh, it's, it's gonna be months before it's out. I'll figure out something. So yeah, I mean, yeah. of course it wasn't that long of a wait because I pretty much returned to editing like about a couple weeks after you recorded that because I know you made a plan of the apes. No wait, you made a no. Oh, I won't. I'll I won't spoil that one. But uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not going to spoil any future oh. jokes, but all I'm going to say is, you know, I put a lot yeah. of cool stuff in the future edits, so. Yeah, yeah. And uh, speak, speaking of editing, um, since you're guest starring on this episode now, it's a good chance to talk to you about um, <laughs> what editing the show is like. Cause, uh, aside from this episode, I think you've basically finished DR1, right? Uh, oh. Yeah, basically it's all, it's all finished. Uh, 
at this point, I mean, it's basically in the can right now, <laughs> with the yeah. exception of this episode, which we're doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what what is that process like? And um... uh, okay. So usually, here's how it all happens. Uh, usually, I get the. Usually, it's a, it's it's mostly a very simple process when you kind of think about it. It's mainly just getting getting uh, all the necessary so... materials from your drives and all that stuff. And by the way, uh, we have about how many drives? <laughs> About like six or seven drives because Google doesn't seem to let you delete stuff to free up space. It's more like just bandwidth, apparently, which yeah. is yeah. Like you, you get fifteen gigs and that's it forever. <laughs> that's that is so that is like the most retarded. It's so stupid. It's so retarded, <laughs> man. As we found out, there's nothing stopping me from just making a million drives with like one digit difference in the username and the same password. And be like, oh yeah, I'm a new user. My name is fucking Robert Chiotis. <laughs> yes, or Roger Moore. <laughs> Roger Moore, yeah, Macintosh McMuffin Top. <laughs> Macintosh McMuffin Top is actually a real person, by the way. Oh, really now? <laughs> yeah, he is the... um. Do you know that you know like the twelve year old boy from Twenty Eight Weeks Later? Oh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that movie in a long ass time. So me neither. But like, I, I just remember going to IMDb and like, I think that that actor's name is it's either Macintosh McNuff, McMuffin Top or something very similar to that. Oh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, basically how the editing yeah. process basically goes is. Uh, I basically uh, get all the materials. I MP4 for some reason is a little weird with Premiere, so I gotta convert all the files to QuickTime. I mean, yes, believe it or not, we uh, QuickTime is still largely used in the in the editing world. I'm not really gonna get gonna get too geeky with the specifics, but all you need to know is that I gotta convert it to QuickTime <laughs> to uh, a codec that's 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 using the QuickTime fi file, which makes uh, the file which actually makes it run smoother. And I've been using that for my intermediate for like about the past couple months, ever since I figured out that secret sauce a long time ago. And yeah. basically, like, I, like I've actually no, I've actually noticed that when the episode, when I see the finished uh, episode on YouTube, it actually runs a bit smoother than the recording I made. So I was wondering why that happened. Uh, how that happens is I basically, uh, I don't really, I don't really mess with the frame rate at all. <laughs> if if you can believe that, I don't mess with any, I don't mess with the frame rate. I'll, I just basically what I do is uh, I do like a quick crop of like because I don't because I've been I'm a little OCD when it comes to. Uh, black lines on the side i've been a yeah. i'm a i've been a bit more uh anal with that lately because <laughs> i because uh i'm just like you know putting myself in the mindset of like you know what, what now sometimes there are some over scan blocks that'll still come in and and sometimes i'll it, when i catch them i always like to fix them and i will admit audio sync was a bit hard at first uh there's been a couple there was there was a uh, in the beginning when we started doing uh novelty hour uh i know there was quite a few times where where you were like off sync by like how many seconds like at least three or four it was it was quite silly <laughs> oh my god like there was like even like some like things that would like you know that would like break the immersion like uh like kevin would react to like hifumi going like, and then uh, and then like kevin like about three seconds early would say oh jesus fuck <laughs> oh that was like, yeah, yeah that that was silly because it, it was like ah and then like four seconds later you hear fumi actually screaming like oh so that's what he was reacting to <laughs> yeah it's the yeah it was the it was the most noobish thing but if, luckily if you're wondering uh sometimes you'll see this uh one two one two one two uh, that's a little system that uh zeke developed with the game engine you know, like, uh, to, like, basically, basically, if you remember, like, the whole, uh, cue markers from, like, you know, if you see, like, in, in old movies sometimes, you know, like, the, you know, the little, you know, like, action, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like that. It's kind of, it's kind of like that sense, and, uh, basically, I sync it to, uh, Zeke's, uh, one, two, one, two, uh, uh, sequence, and, uh, 
so far uh it's <laughs> it's worked out perfectly actually yeah i actually i actually got that from um it was a special like on like um i think like two years ago now uh the game grumps had like a how like a how we do it sort of special oh like and a I behind the scenes remember. kind of thing like a featurette yeah yeah and i just remember that like uh, apparently on like every game that has a menu that's what they do they just go like one two one two one two and so i was like okay yeah, I mean, I th- it's a them. it's a good system. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's a very good system, and uh, that that has uh, helped me out every time. And yeah, disregard this. V V, you just heard this now, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, who yeah, cares? I can I, edit that out. <laughs> yeah, because I imagine. Yeah, because I imagine um, uh, it get it gets uh, complicated sometimes because like uh, you have you have the game, you have me, you have Kevin. And these things uh, have to be in sync. And then sometimes the really annoying thing that I uh, was, I think we were talking about earlier today, actually, with regards to the last episode, is that um, uh, some for whatever fucking reason, sometimes Kevin's video will just skip around. So, like, it can be a little, when you're just look, looking at the audio, it can be a little confusing. Cause he's, yeah, sometimes. He's, te- he's, te- he's technically synced up with me. But he's not synced up with the video that I'm synced up with, so that can be confusing sometimes. Yeah, like uh, episode fifty. I'm not really gonna go into details, but basically, uh, the version. Uh, I don't have episode fifty uh, in the can just yet, but uh, basically Zeke is gonna have to QC that thing. And uh, basically, we have like a little QC process. You know, if you're in the fan sub scene, you you probably know you, you already know what that is. Basically, make sure the subs are good, make sure the audio is good. Yeah. And we've, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, it was quite a fun process. I mean, it's been a huge learning process for me. Like, uh, uh, the audio, if you probably want, uh, you want me to discuss how I made the, uh, the audio, how I made you guys kind of seem like you're in a room and all that stuff. Oh yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, okay. So, uh, one day I was talking to my dad about like, oh, I'm editing this, uh, the, I was talking to my dad about he, he's a musician, by the way, for those not in the know. He's a prominent uh, figure around around my town. Uh, and uh, he, he's also an audio guy. And I was uh, asking him a question about uh, how can I make the audio sound interesting? Like and I had an idea like where I wanted to make it sound like they're in the room. It's like, well, does the editing program have uh, pan knobs? And I was like, oh, yeah, it does. Use, use the pan knobs and just twist it one thing to the right and one thing to the left. And another concept I have is like, I was still, I still wanted to make sure you could listen to it with one earbud because that's how I tend to, to uh, digest most podcasts while I'm at work. I can kind of sneak by with uh, yeah, Walmart, Walmart, some Walmarts have that like that one earbud in rule. Yeah. Like if you have two earbuds in, yeah, that's no, no can't do that no 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 no. it's like i like to imagine that like sne- they're like snooping on you like oh he's gonna break the rules any minute and they see you got earbuds and they're like yeah so my lucky day and then you turn your head and you're like oh it's only one earbud damn it <laughs> yeah the yeah the one earbud rule like uh, uh you could get away with it uh outside not so much inside well i haven't really done it that much mm-hmm. inside because i feel like since i have all this all these people watching me i, I kind of tend to get that douche chill that oh shit yeah, i shouldn't but, but be doing this were just pushing carts in the parking lot double earphone baby although double i tend to do that mostly at night because uh, it could get a little hairy sometimes but uh this isn't that this isn't that thing but uh um but uh but yeah basically uh i developed a thing like basically to where uh uh Hey. To like where Kevin is uh, on one side of the room and Zeke is on one is on the other side of the room. Basically, you are in the middle and uh, Zeke is like on is like on one side of you and the uh, and, and Kevin's on the other. Basically, it's like you're in the middle, kind of like listening into these people like you know riff on this game. It's like you're it's like you're it's like you're hanging out. I, I wanted to give you the idea that you're like hanging out with them and all. Like I, like I'm hanging out, yeah. like they're hanging out with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Like when I listen back, especially since I have such <laughs> nice headphones, I really, I really appreciate that effect. I've always wanted to hang out with just me and Kevin and another me. <laughs> yeah, just so it it, it, it has a <laughs> it has a nice. Uh, yeah, it's like a nice little immersion effect too. It's like it, yeah. And, and yeah, I mean, because that was the thing that that was kind of like getting to me. Like when I was keep doing, it's like you know. 
it's like, okay, this is, I mean, mono is okay for a podcast, but uh, there's got to be a way to spice this up. And, uh, but yeah, that I developed that technique thanks to my father. And uh, so far it's worked out pretty well. I mean, with the exception, I mean, I've also developed a faster way of processing the audio of having to convert your files to mono and all that stuff and all that stuff since yeah. you still record in uh, stereo and all that stuff although with voice you know yeah. you you can still record with stereo but uh it's it's kind of a waste of space it's just it's just redundant data <laughs> yeah it, it is except for i think we told you about this um an sdr2 episode coming up i also had a space issue while recording but instead of cutting out my audio completely, it just, like, cut out one of the channels. Oh! So, However. so like, um, I think, like, either the left or the right channel, one of them still works and the other doesn't. So I'm like, man, if I was actually recording in mono, I might be fucked right there. Or maybe not, because it would be a smaller file space. Maybe I wouldn't have ran out so fast. I don't y- yeah, know. That, that's, probably, that's probably it. But, like I said, that's neither here nor there, but, uh... Oh yeah, and probably Makoto at this point is already words. uncovering the mystery right now. Like, because yeah, yeah. uh, we're we're probably at that point. There's probably something epic going yeah. on. Yeah, like um, yeah, like I, I'm glad I'm glad it cut out. Bef- I'm glad it cut cut out after that bad ending twist because I I would have cried if I had to cut Kevin's reaction to that. So <laughs> yeah, because. Uh, there was like a there was a real funny reaction, you know, to to that whole thing. But uh, like, oh, you son of a bitch! And it was funny too. Yeah. But uh, but uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad we could keep that. Yeah, I mean, I've managed to salvage, you know, some things, you know, and I've even managed to salvage some things when you've uh, when you've all like went desynced, like on uh, episode forty-seven. I'm not gonna give out what I did, but. Uh, uh, it was desynced for like a little bit on the second half of 47, but I managed to get that one back in sync. I even was like, uh, can you check this? And I was thinking, is Zeke like, <laughs> it was he kind of like, you know, playing with my, with my senses here just to try. It's like, oh, let's see if we can try to catch him off guard here. <laughs> Cause you do get no, trolls like that. In- <laughs> <laughs> I would never intentionally make your job harder than it needs to be. <laughs> Oh no no! I mean, I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad anyway. I'm just saying it's from knowing you, you know, and all that stuff. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh. So uh, okay, we have about thirty minutes left. So uh, what else do you want to yeah. talk about? Uh. All right. So, are there any like uh, particularly like memorable challenges? Um, you had to overcome in the, in this process, like anything that just didn't hey. work, and you're like, oh, just tearing my non-existent hair out. <laughs> well, well, first off, I still have hair. Fuck you. <laughs> um, okay. um, uh, second of all, uh, I did have challenges with hard disk space, but you know that's pretty much you know the struggle with video editing. Video editing takes up so much space, especially with these files they're much bigger than the mp4s that's 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 just a fact of life unfortunately but uh but what made that what made that kind of suck is like uh that means i couldn't really go back to to episodes and like uh flashback but uh however there was one twist uh uh I'm not going to give it away, but uh, if you know what I'm talking about, it involves, you know, the intro. You know what I'm talking about. So I still had the foot. I still had the footage for the first episode. And the second that I was like able to figure out that uh, I can use this, like when that scene came up, I was just like, oh, I was like, wait, DR, DR one zero one. Oh crap! I still got this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Why is that? I I'm, I was so glad I was able to do that. But uh, I think my yeah. favorite editing moment, like you know, not so much like struggles, but uh, I mean, sometimes you know it can get a little hard, especially since you know, video editing. You can't really multitask with uh, with video editing. Correct. Your your mind has to be focused on it. Although I've with fast tracking some episodes, I can usually. This makes I, I usually play the episode for five minutes, make sure it's in sync. If it sounds good, makes sense, then okay, sounds good. All right, uh, audio 
all your levels side to side. Okay, all right, it's done, set. Uh, yep. I think my favorite editing to my favorite editing thing to do was like for uh, for rewrite. I think it. Oh wait, it was seven or eight. I'm trying to remember which one it was. We only did seven. So okay, seven, it was episode seven. seven. When you guys did those fake sponsors. Yeah. That was my favorite edit to do. That was so much fun. <laughs> this episode was as brought to you by Pizza Hut, McDonald's, Mojang, Rovio. <laughs> it was we're the most. Remember at one point we're like TriStar Pictures, and you're like TriStar and Columbia are the same company, dumbasses. Yeah. <laughs> well, they technically are in a sense, like you know TriStar, Columbia, pic- uh, like television yeah. and all that stuff. I mean, I think yeah. that's technically think in their television division, but uh, that's... Yeah, I think Log did point out that TriStar, I think, does have their own logo, though, I think. Yeah, I, I think... Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whoops. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, say lovey. Yeah. yeah, like, uh, editing is really, uh... It's a fun... Very salt... What do you say? Oh, I mean, it's a very fun thing to do, but, you know, but... If you really want to get into it, like if you want to like hey. roll hard, as Anubis would say, uh, basically you got to have the PC. And, you know, I made sure my computer was a monster and my computer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that's that's why you're doing this is because uh, my computer can't render for shit. So, well, this is your video. Yeah, yours just like takes like three hours an episode while mine just takes about. Well, granted, I have, uh, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to get too geeky on this episode. You can look this up a little bit later if you're curious, uh, GPU rendering, but I have a GTX, I have a GTX 1080 in my, in my, in my PC right now, and it rendered, and oh man, the boost I got to my computer was amazing. So... And I'm almost tempted to go to one of those comparison sites and compare it to my video card, but I'm really scared of seeing this. It's 2,500% better flash in my face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got... Yeah, I'm still, ro- I'm, I'm still rocking the fucking oh, yeah, I... Radeon HD 5750. Oh, I think that was the... S- I think that's what? probably the same card that I have in my, uh, in my Dell from 2010. I think mine was a 5700... Uh, in my old Dell that I had to retire, that I had to decommission. Yeah, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look up when that came out because I remember having that in like 2008, 2009. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it can't. It's not capable of G, of GPU so... rendering and all that stuff. No, not at all. Yeah, I'm not even. I'm not even. Enti- I'm gonna be entirely. On- I'm not even entirely confident it's capable of running Danganronpa V3. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and that's probably going to be stuff that's probably going to require my assistance again because I have a capture card that's probably. Yeah. I'm I'm hoping. In other words, this is, this is beyond the scope of what we're doing right now, but um, I'm hoping that it can run. Because fu- the thing is, I record at 30 fps, uh, 1280 by 720. So I'm hoping if I can just lower, but I'm I'm playing the games at uh, 1600 by 900. Um, so I'm hoping I can just lower the resolution to 1280, 720, and hopefully it performs good enough Hi. to do that and also record at the same time. Uh-huh. If it can't do that, then we Hi. can set up the Elgato, and we can set up my, I can put, I can bring my PS4 down here and do that. I no don't matter. want it to come to that, but it might have to. No, yeah. Speaking, uh, speaking of which, um, I was actually wondering, Hi. like, um, what are the, what are the file sizes like, uh, with the Elgato? Cause, I, cause XSplit has been amazing for me in that it just makes these, I mean, Kevin complains like, "Why is this up? Why is this hour and a half long episode two and a half gigabytes?" I'm like, "You better be fucking grateful. That's not all that big for what that is." <laughs> uh, for 720p, that ain't bad, buddy. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, this isn't a this isn't a Blu-ray, like, man. Come on. <laughs> why isn't this perfectly encoded by a team of professionals? <laughs> it's like, why, why is this encoded by Justin Savakis? <laughs> Yeah, why isn't there some Savakis magic going on here? Why can't I cram 40 episodes on a disc? (laughs) And I'm I'm just like, it's just a fucking auto game capture program. The free version, even. It's good for what it is. That sometimes will say be right back at at inopportune moments. (laughs) That happens whenever... 
because I remember that used to happen a lot in our rewrite footage because uh, when I would ju- the thing about rewrite is that I'd play it on auto on auto read I'd set it to a certain speed uh huh and that I I would literally lay on the couch and occasionally poke the mouse with a broom so that it wouldn't shut off that my monitor wouldn't shut off oh that's it that's how that's how <laughs> that's yeah, that's how that's the B right back gets speed. triggered oh god yeah by uh, by the monitor uh, turning off or by uh, accidentally tabbing out which happens sometimes oh um, yeah um. Because um, you can run, you can run Ding and Rumpa in a couple of different modes. Um, um, it's like border window windowed, uh, full screen and borderless. And borderless is basically full screen, but it's different somehow. I don't know how. Uh, but I, I switched uh, at some point in SDR two. I switched to borderless, and it doesn't accidentally tab out as often. So oh oh, that's good. That's very good. Yeah. At least I know. Although uh, I did put in, although I did screen cap that be right back thing and use it as a gag in like the in between parts for uh, a cert for the finale, but uh, <laughs> right. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try and get some mileage out of this one. I can, yeah, I can actually customize that, and I've actually oh, wow. toyed around with the idea of just making a custom Bakugaijin. We'll be right. We're having technical difficulties. Screen. Yeah, um, like with the drunk guy, be- like, you know, with the Simpsons, you know, like drunk guy behind the camera, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, or like, I don't know, I, ma- I make it personal, I'd like, fuck, <laughs> I don't know what I would do, I'd fucking film myself, I'd take a piece of shit, like, um, computer chip that I never, that I don't need or whatever from, like, the basement or whatever, and set it on fire and just have me, like, <laughs> screaming at him, like, ah, and f- f- photograph that and put that <laughs> <Sorry>. there. <laughs> oh, that, that, oh, you should totally do that. That sounds hilarious. Ah! We're experiencing technical difficulties. Ah! <laughs> this disembodied computer board that isn't actually attached to anything is on fire. This will definitely impede our progress. <laughs> oh. I'm not even running. It's like I'm not even running the game on a computer. I'm just. It's like it's a, It's literally like a RAM card on a stick. <laughs> But man, I wave uh, it in front of the TV like a magic wand. <laughs> I, it's kind of a miracle. I mean, okay, uh, Don Gun Rompa is not really a resource-heavy game. It's not like Crisis. It's not like Crisis Three or anything like that. It's no Crisis Three, but um, it's amazing that that thing was able to run. But then again, that game is from 2010, and the and the I, I assume all the models are from 2010, just upscaled assets. I bet. Yeah, yeah, but I mean the upscale job. For running significantly larger resolution than a PSP is pretty good upscaling. With the exception of the elevator scene, which, you know, I gotta say this right fucking now. I mean, I even I even commented this, you know, because I like to make text comments, you know, like title comments and the uh, things. I even yeah. say, it looks like a GIF from, like, 1998. <laughs> yeah. The other thing I pointed out... Um, in SDR2 is that uh, Monokuma's throne in the courtroom right. is noticeably lower texture than everything else around it. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Yeah, so it's like, in yeah, it's ways. like one of those, I don't know, I don't know why that is. I guess they just didn't, uh, maybe they just didn't upscale those specific textures or maybe it was just shitty to begin with and we didn't notice before, but uh, for whatever reason, that chair looks like ass. <laughs> And that and that was on the PSP first, right? Or was that or was that Vita time by that yeah, point? Yeah, yeah, that was that was on PSP as well. Oh, okay. Because, like I said, guys, uh, for a bit of full disclosure, I've never played Danganronpa. By the way, uh, I've only heard about it through the memes, uh, Genocide Jill, and yeah. the discourse uh, surrounding Chihiro being uh, a trans woman, which I vehemently disagree with and it seems like the the game's canon doesn't really call for chihiro yeah. to be trans but uh, i don't want yeah, to open up I, that I can of worms that, that even got to the point where in the re, in the vita re-release and the original reload that japan got that was split up here um in uh, his school mode ending uh which is what you can get in school mode by because like okay so this is actually kind of complicated, but we have time to explain it. Um, yeah, don't worry. So, I can I can edit this in. Go for it. Yeah. So so school mode is basically the mode where you just you can do all the free time events um, anyway. as freely as you wish. Well, not as freely as you wish. So 
you're plopped there, and Monokuma's like, there's no killing game, you can all just live here peacefully, because it's the bonus mode. And they're like, what's a bonus mode? You don't need to know that! Or something like that. It's like, you have 50 days to live peacefully before I open the front door. And so you can spend those 50 days doing the free time events freely. There's also like a resource gathering mini game where you like you send people out to scavenge or send them or make them sleep because they're tired or make them clean because Monokuma wants them to clean things or something like that. Correct. It's a it's not fun or anything. It's kind of tedious, but it's just, it's just a thing to, just, to flush out the mode. I guess. Is it just like a, like a fetch questing oh, kind of thing? It's like a resource gathering sort of. I want Monokuma's like okay, so this week's challenge is I want you to build me this, and this requires these specific items that you can quote-unquote scavenge around the school. This mode makes more sense in SDR2 because they're scavenging multiple islands. Yeah, uh, I imagine with game, it being an island and all that stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but the first game, it doesn't make any sense because they're just like, scavenge the school building. I'm like, well, okay, so I, if I search a room once, once or twice, I'm pretty sure I found everything there is to find in that room. But okay, sure, I'll search that room for the 50th time and find ma miraculously appearing new things. <laughs> but, um... Oh, yeah, so, oh, a battery. Yay. <laughs> yay. Well, because um, actually the mode was developed for the original release of SDR2, Island Mode. But when they re-released the first game with 2 in 1-2 uh, Reload for the Vita in Japan, they made a uh, school mode for the first game. Because uh, originally you had no way to play free time events freely. If you wanted to see all the free time events, you had to replay the game like 19 times. Or save scum. Oh. Save scum would probably be easier. So, oh. um... So anyway, uh, if you build the thing he wants you to build with the items you gather, he gives you trip tickets so you can take the student of your choice on a quote-unquote trip to some area of the school. And again, this makes more sense when it's multiple islands. Because <laughs> in the first game, it's like, let's take a trip to the music room. <laughs> <Another one>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or like... That doesn't make any sense at all, but okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so, and then there's like a, there's like a, there's a quasi dating sim thing where they, they talk about things and like you pick the right response and whatever. Like, but anyway, the point is, if you do that well enough, you get their uh, school mode ending, and there's like a shoot through the heart event, which is basically the uh, same thing you do in the game in the trials, which is you shoot through a thing so basically it's yeah you shoot through their this, their arguments that kind of thing yeah yeah but then so here they're going on this 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 rant about how about whatever the fuck and um there's one statement that you can disagree with and be like no that's wrong because you're an amazing person and i totes love you or some shit like that and it's like shot through the heart and then you get their school mode ending and anyway so back to chihiro and chihiro's um school mode ending he actually um he says something along the lines of um wanting to um be comfortable uh with being uh, uh who he is which is weak but also still a boy like he wants to be um see seen as a man Indeed. so like, uh -huh. like i almost feel like they added that in just as a fuck you to those people oh really yeah because i'd understand that because it's like i mean that was the one thing that annoyed me because i see this come up like in like you know in various you know discourses on you know our favorite on our favorite website ever tumblr mm -hmm. and i see yeah because like i remember seeing gifts going like saying oh precious trans baby or uh precious uh or like uh or two trans for you that kind of thing i mean yeah. I, like i said you know i'm open to the idea of trans characters but when you have to like slap a label when the when the care when the ca games can is clearly like uh uh, -uh that's actually this yeah, and I think even in the ep one of the episodes, I went on that story about um, that Japanese woman who came to Tumblr to the uh, Western fandom and tried to explain that uh, Chihiro was actually uh, an examination of the strict gender roles in Japan and yada, yada, yada. And she was actually harassed and bullied off of Tumblr. Wow, that's terrible. For trying to, for trying to clarify the intent, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, people got to remember, this is clear. I mean, th that was the one thing I was hoping hoping you got did you guys ever talk about that was when that came up because yeah. i because i i, yeah, yeah, I yeah. scrubbed I through it like i scrubbed through yeah i'm pretty sure i brought that up yeah okay all right because if i did i might have to rewatch those because like i said i've been mean to kind of play through the games for like quite a long time it's just that like i said i, I don't really get enough time to play through uh video games as much as like as much as like should but uh it's it's really funny um <laughs> 
Um, we were talking earlier about um, what uh, the QC process and all that, and I, I like to joke sometimes that doing Novelty Hour has counted as my four, has my third, fourth, and fifth playthrough of DR1 because I have to play it to record the footage, and then I have to watch it with Kevin, and then I have to watch it again after the episode's done. So I've technically replayed the game thrice in one go. <laughs> yeah, that you you yeah, that's that's true. That is pretty fucking true. Um but yeah, that that was that was always the thing that always bothered me about uh I mean I mean and also, you know, there's just some men that identify as men. I mean, I don't want I don't want to get too into that, but uh yeah. This is this is the the gender roles podcast, but yeah. <laughs> it's, it isn't any podcast really. <laughs> yeah, this is technically a let's play that I'm probably going to get yeah. shit for just because I don't agree with their head canon. So, you know what? Yeah. So, suck yeah. you. <laughs> Speaking of the of the GTX um when the system requirements for V3 came out, um I made a I made a post on uh the subreddit about how annoyed I was that uh, system requirements are always in NVIDIA terms and they're never in AMD terms, and that just annoys me. Yeah, because I because I had an AMD card in my rig at some point, and uh, yeah. and I read that uh, although it although the GPU rendering works with my AMD card, it works better with. Uh, well, the reason why I upgraded to a GTX was because there was a plugin that required that specific yeah. card and uh that's the reason why i had to upgrade but uh it's really funny to me because uh i hear so many things about like uh pc ports of games running like shit with amd cards but they run amazingly and have all these special fucking shadow play rendering fucking features with nvidia cards and i'm like i almost suspect that nvidia is intentionally paying off developers to not optimize for amd cards on pc i wouldn't be surprised because when near automata came out for the pc i know that i know like there were like some people that were that were like still rocking amd rx 480 and yeah. apparently they were like having issues up the ass when it came to that yeah yeah, but I mean, it must be fine for consoles though, because both both major consoles at the moment run on AMD cards. So yeah, they yeah isn't like nothing but like a, uh, AMD what like Radeons or something like that, and that's it. I don't I, I don't know, but like, I I remember Nvidia was very butthurt when Sony decided not to go with them again, and like hmm, well I guess they don't want the best graphic processor power on the market and i'm like wow you guys could not be more buttered about this so let's screw over the pc gamer market yay yeah. so anyway back to the v3 system requirements i was just looking through them and they seem like because i know what the game looks like i've watched an entire playthrough of it but um these sort of system requirements seem a little weirdly high to me well, yeah because there's there's still like 3d cg elements in there right yeah, yeah, there are, and some some of the models look pretty advanced, at least especially compared to. Because okay, so I'm gonna actually post these in the chat for you to see. All right, and look at it real quick. Let's see. R- riveting radio, I know, but uh, I just wanted to get his thoughts on this. All right, and in the, I and in the business chat. Yeah, let's see if I can access this. Cool. All right. All right. Let's see. All right. Windows Seven. Okay. I know you got that. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that uh, that is weird that they don't really add like, oh, you can also run this on AMD. That that does seem like a little bit of a weird bias right there. That's a weird ass bias. Um. Let's see. God damn, what else I can say about this? Um, other than that, um, after uh, af- I guess I should probably just announce this right here and yeah. now. Uh, after uh, after I'm done with uh, fifty, uh, I'm gonna hope that by the time this comes out, I will be back to editing because. Uh, uh, Basically, for those not to know, uh, I'm going to be going like on another hiatus again, but hopefully not to the point like where. Uh... That gap was, that gap was like I think you finished 29 like 
at the very, very end of May, and you didn't get back to editing until, I want to say, like, July the 18th, 19th. Oh, um... Two weeks before that, but I really spaced it out. Like, there were some episodes that where there was, like, an entire eight days between them. So... Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, sorry, I, you cut out for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't do that, people. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's a really good, I don't know what that, I don't know what, I know, I know what you're trying to say, but I don't know the word. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If 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 you don't if you don't see any breaking episodes, everything went according to Keikaku. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that me that means Plan Cat. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so I, I, I guess I, I didn't even realize it cut out, but I guess it cut out the words "death note," so I didn't actually know what you were talking about for a second. I was like, hmm, <laughs> what's squeal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I'm having fun this whole time. V vaguely, very vaguely. Uh. <laughs> yeah, um, I doubt it. <laughs> That is the uh, weirdest um, misguided headcanon I've ever, explanation I've, I've ever heard, really. Yeah. Yeah, so we're about out of time here, so. All right, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, so um, thank, you thank you for all you've done. Thank you for all you're doing. Um, got, guys, if you're, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, if you want to go show Cubase some love, you can go check out his channel and the things that he does. Cause, um, All right. Well, thanks for thanks for dropping by. We're gonna climb this ladder now, and hopefully, somewhere along the way, we'll um, we'll find where Kevin landed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we will see you guys next time.